Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be unboxing and trying on some e.l.f. Cosmetics makeup. And yeah, that's about it. So let's get into it. And to start, I'm just going to unbox the makeup and show you guys what I got. And then we will try it on from there. So the first thing in the box that I see is this cream contour palette. And I've got this cream blush palette. I've got a lip balm tint in the shade Peach. This is a baked highlighter in the shade Moonlight Pearls. I got a matte lip color in the shade Praline. This moisturizer, which is called Happy Hydration Cream. Makeup Mist and Set. I got a Total Face Sponge. Makeup Remover, Cleansing Cloth. I got a Tapered Blending Brush. Wow Brow. A Small Stipple Brush. A brow pencil in the shade deep brown and I got the hydrating camo concealer I have tried the just the original camo concealer before and it's just too dry on my face so I thought I'd give this a go and this is in the shade fair rose and let's see I got this lip liner it also has a blending brush on it And this is in the shade Deep Brown. And I got one of these bite size eyeshadow palettes. This is Hot Jalapeno. And then they included a free um, face mask with my purchase. So yeah, that's what I ordered from e.l.f. Cosmetics and I just got this in the mail today so I wanted to film the video and do like first impressions and everything so if you want to see me try this makeup on just keep watching so this is the super mask it says a mask with soothing centella asiatica <laughs> Or however you pronounce that and I used this earlier whenever I got out of the shower it's just white like a cream and I mean it didn't irritate my skin or anything but that was my first time using it so I'll keep using that this is the happy hydration cream it says hemp derived cannabis sativa and I've already uh, moisturized my skin with this so it was really thick like a very thick cream but it feels good on the skin I'll have to keep trying it of course the total face sponge says I can use wet or dry but I'm gonna go wet it and then apply the concealer with it I wet the sponge it got pretty big since we already moisturized I didn't get a primer I don't really use primers much but we're going to start with the Hydrating Camo Concealer in Fair Rose. This claims to be hydrating with high coverage and long wearing. And like I said, I had the, um, I still have it. Okay, this looks terrible, don't judge. But I bought the, just the original, I guess camo concealer it's too dry on my skin so I can't really use it it just doesn't sit on my skin nicely so I'm excited to try this because it's hydrating oh the shade might be uh, 
too light for my whole face, but it's the only shade I've got, so we'll use it. We'll start with this amount, and I'm just going to use the total face, the total face sponge to blend it out. I'm terrible at shade matching. You'll notice that. <laughs> That's so white. Okay, so I blended that out. Now, just ignore the shade because that that shade is way too light for me. It looks a little more hydrated than the regular concealer. I mean, there's not much to say. It's okay coverage. I used the sponge to blend it out, so I don't know if that affected the coverage at all. But it's said to use with your finger or a sponge. Well, I forgot that I got this lip balm tint. Let me go ahead and try some of that on my lips. <laughs> that concealer shade was way too light, my bad. Oh yeah, that is tinted. <laughs> I don't know why I wasn't expecting that. This lip balm is super thick and yeah, it has a tint to it, but the tint's not that bad. So back to the concealer, I'm gonna put a little bit more right here and right here and some right here and just on my cheeks a little. I'm not really one to wear foundation. That's why I started with the concealer. I don't. I love makeup, but I don't like foundation. I'm just not a foundation person, but I'm going to use my finger to blend it out under my eyes and around my nose, and then I'll use the sponge again on my cheeks. The sponge is all right. It's doing what a sponge should do. I look like a vampire now. <laughs> Aside from that, it looks, it doesn't look too dry under my eyes. It doesn't look the best. it definitely doesn't look the worst that the original camo concealer does not look good on my skin at all the shade is just not the right shade tap that out with my fingers Okay, yeah. I think the coverage may just be not as much because I'm using the sponge, but this actually can go over the top of the rest of my skin and not look dry and flaky and crumbly like the original camo concealer. It did not look good on my skin at all, but this one actually looks okay. Under my eyes, it looks a little, I don't know, creasy maybe. And for some reason, makeup just doesn't really want to stick around my nose and on top of my nose. But I think that's just my nose. We're working on it. This is an up close. It looks all right. My cheeks look so red now though with the um, super white concealer. It's 
not quite as hydrating as I thought it would be, but it still looks pretty good for, what was it, $8 I think. It looks alright. Um, of course I'll have to continue using it just to see how it wears throughout the day and everything, but for now, I'm okay with it. I got this small stipple brush and we're gonna go in with the e.l.f. cream contour palette. I'm gonna take it on the stipple brush but I'll probably use the sponge to blend it. I'm gonna switch to the sponge. The sponge really sheared it out. And I'm just gonna put it all around. I'm gonna blend it here. The sponge really shears it out a lot versus putting it on with the brush. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it. Okay, I'm gonna do the other side and see how that goes. And then we will move on to the cream blushes. Okay, so I used this stipple brush on this side, and this side looks way better to me. So I'm going to go in with the stipple brush on this side and mix the top two colors again and try to maybe build it up a little bit. I think the sponge is sharing it out just too much. That's cute. The cream bronzer, the cream contour that I'm using is bronzer. I do like it. I like it better with the um, stippling brush. The sponge just seemed to sheer it out a lot. And that's okay too if that's what you're going for. Now I'm going to go in with the cream blush palette. And this is in the shade Soft. I'm going to use the same stipple brush that I used for the bronzer since that seemed to work best. And we're going to go in with the shade. I think we're going to go in with the top two mixed together. That's cute. That's a good blush. A good natural pinky blush. I love these creams because they look so skin like and like really just skin like and dewy on your skin. So I was in the middle of putting this cream blush on and my camera's storage was full so I had to deal with that and now it's like two hours later. The lighting is different. The angle may be different too. So just kind of ignore that and we'll go on with the makeup. But I put on two these two top shades and it's been a while so it's kind of in this lighting the um, bronzer looks a little different too. It looks a little more pigmented I would say. I noticed that the um, hydrating camo concealer is creasing under my eyes. I don't know if you'll be able to see but it's like creasing under my eyes so I'm gonna go ahead and set it maybe 
to see if that will fix that. I didn't get a, a setting powder from e.l.f. so I'm just going to go in with my Maybelline Fit Me and I'm going to set under my eyes with it. Like I said, I was in the middle of applying this cream blush so I'm going to jump back into that and do a little bit more. I just like to blend my blush and my bronzer together basically and I'm using the same brush for both. Since I get a little oily around my eyebrow area and like right here I'm gonna set a little bit with my Maybelline Fit Me powder. The bronzer and the blush is super, super dewy. It looks like I have highlighter all right here. The concealer has kind of caked up around my nose as well. And it was creasing pretty badly under my eyes. So that's just a little tidbit. So now we're gonna move on to highlighter and I've got the Baked Highlighter in Moonlight Pearls. It's not gonna focus. I'm just gonna use my Real Techniques Contour Brush as a highlighter brush. I don't even know if you can see that past the dewiness of the contour and blush palette. That highlighter... <laughs> My whole face is highlighted, but that highlighter is really pretty. It does look pretty glittery though. So now I'm just going to go ahead and use the Makeup Mist and Set to just set my face. It smells like nothing. Even though that bronzer and blush is really dewy on the skin. I really like how it looks. It doesn't look like it's sitting on top of my skin at all. It looks like it meshed well with my skin. So now I'm going to go in with the Instant Lift Brow Pencil in Deep Brown. And I'm just going to fill in my eyebrows a little with it. The shade may be off too. I'm terrible at picking my shades, especially when I can't like no, I'm just terrible at picking my shades. I can't even do it when I'm got the makeup in front of me. So it's got a spoolie on one end and the brow pencil on the other end. And it's a thicker one, but that's all right. Right off the bat, this pencil is really creamy. You don't have to press hard at all for the color to come off. And it blended right out. Yeah, it may be just a little bit too creamy to really... Um, to really control. But... Still doing what it should. The shade looks a little gray, maybe? Just a little. Hmm. I'm not sure how I feel about this. It doesn't seem to be opaque, I guess. I mean, it's still filling my eyebrow in, but. kind of sheer and when I blend it it just blends almost into nothing 
It's still filled in my eyebrow though. It might just be the shade that I chose. It looks nice in the mirror and on camera. I'm just gonna do the other one real quick. Yeah, as I use it, it's getting really like stubby, which is just the size of the pencil, I guess, but just something to know. Yeah, it feels in the hairs good, but it doesn't really wanna stick to the skin. It just seems a little bit too creamy for me to work with personally but it was two dollars and it's filling in my eyebrows so it's pretty decent but now it's just too stubby for me to define it all it's just like now all I can really just fill it in they look okay though I would say it's worth a shot if you because some people prefer different things. It's just really creamy and not very precise for me. I'm going to take a tiny bit of that concealer again and carve out the underneath of my brows just a little bit where it got messy. Okay, the brows look all right. They're not my favorite. They're not terrible though. They are filled in. So now I'm gonna go in with the Wow Brow Volumizing Fiber Gel in the shade Brunette just to set my eyebrows. But that brow pencil feels like it needs to be set with like a brow powder and I don't have a brow powder. This is the brush. That's with the gel in my eyebrows. I do like that. We'll have to see how it dries down though. So the lighting and the angle may have differed yet again. I'm having so many issues with this camera. The battery died so I had to wait for it to charge and I was having storage problems so. Um, we left off at the eyebrows and I finished them. I would say the eyebrow gel is okay. It doesn't really feel like it's doing much but I don't think my eyebrows have like drooped or anything like I think my eyebrow hairs are still in place so that's good. It's been like a couple more hours and I think the bronzer and the blush, the cream bronzer and blush have faded a lot. I'm not sure if it's the lighting but it just looks a lot more faded to me. So there's that. I've had it on for about four or five hours now. I think I'm gonna jump into the eyes now. For the eyes, I got this cute little bite size eyeshadow palette. I had to get it because of the green shades. I love some green shades. I also picked up this tapered blending brush. So I'm gonna use that and try it out. Along with some other brushes that I already own. Just to update on the concealer, it still creased pretty bad, but that doesn't really bother me that much. Um, as long as it stays, and it looks like it stayed okay, but the cream blush and bronzer is really throwing me off because I can't tell if it's there or not. So I'm gonna go in with this shade to start and just blend it like in my crease. I'm 
I'm gonna switch to my Morphe M505 brush and blend that same color. It looks really grassy green in real life in the mirror, but it's not really picking up that way on camera. I'm gonna take the darker shade right here and use the tapered brush again and just deepen the crease and the outer part of my eye. And I'm gonna go in with this shade on my lid. I may mix it with this shade. I'm back with my other eye done and mascara on because I don't have a mascara from e.l.f. These are the eyes. <laughs> I love these I love these totally worth three dollars especially the greens I'm a sucker for green shade so now I'm gonna do lips and I've got this lip liner in deep brown which I was planning on maybe using as like a whole lipstick because I want a brownie color and I thought praline may be a more orangish color but it looks to be pink So we may mix these. I'll have to see what the colors look like. That's praline. That's the lip liner in deep brown. I'm going to mix the shades starting with the deep brown liner. Okay, so I think I'm going to take this off and just use praline by itself. My lips are so dry that lip balm tint did not help moisturize them. That's almost the color I was looking for. We'll work with it. And I think that is it for the e.l.f. cosmetics that I purchased online. Almost all of this is like a first impression to me, so I will have to keep using them, but I'm going to have to say the eyebrow pencil is not my favorite. It worked, but like bare minimum worked. And... I love how the blush and bronzer looks on but now that it's been a few hours I feel like it's gone but maybe I've just been staring at it too long I don't know but everything else I really I really enjoyed the hydrating concealer is not very hydrating but it's not as dry as the original camo concealer so that's good I could actually use this one. I like the Total Face Sponge. It worked pretty well. And the e.l.f. brushes always are amazing. So, yeah, I would say all of this is pretty good for the price point for sure. Most e.l.f. products are totally worth the try if you are looking for a cheap brand. So, yeah, I think altogether I do love this makeup look. The eyeshadow is, I love the eyeshadow. <laughs> and the lipstick color, I love the lipstick color. My lips are just so crusty. But yeah, that's it for the try on part of this haul 
slash try on video. Um, I'll link everything that I bought down below in the description box and if anyone's interested in purchasing any of it and I'll link all my socials down below too. Um, thank you guys for watching and if you like this video leave me a like and a comment. Comment some videos you would like to see because I think the next one I may do will be a shop my stash video. And of course subscribe if you want to. Uh, this is the first of many videos I've tried many times to start a YouTube channel and now I feel like this is the time and this is the start. So thank you guys for watching and thank you for bearing with me through this learning process of YouTube. Of course being in the camera is a little weird for me but I'm sure I'll get used to it. Okay bye guys. <laughs>